May the 4th be with you, boys and girls. It's Mrs. McDonald here. I thought we'd do a little something fun today, being that it is considered Star Wars Day. I thought I would do a how to draw the child or baby Yoda picture. So we're looking to come up with something along these lines. Remember, you are doing your interpretation with your best effort. You are not a camera. You are not a copy machine, so yours will not be exactly the same. It's going to be the best one that you can create, and every time you do it, it will get better and better. A reminder before we begin that when an artist does a drawing, they look for curves, lines, shapes, things that remind them of other things they're aware of, and they put them all together like a puzzle, paying attention to how high things are, how low things are, how big they are, how they fit together like a puzzle that will ultimately make your baby Yoda. So I'm going to move this one out of the way, push it off to the side, and here I have my blank piece of paper. All you need right now is a pencil and a blank piece of paper. We will work together and if you choose to add color at home, you can add color with crayons, colored pencils, whatever you have. I don't know what materials you have at home. Or you can choose to just leave it a black and white sketch, which I have a few of those as well. Okay, are we ready? Okay, we're going to use our pencil very lightly. We don't want to press hard until we know we have everything where we want it to be. We're going to start at the top. The head is the most important part of this picture. We're not too worried about the rest of it. It's just his robe. Yes, we do see his fingers down near the ends, but if you make yours and you don't see that, it's fine. We want to see his face. So I'm going to move down just a little bit, make a little mark, because that's where I want the top of his head to be. And I'm going to make what we usually call in class a sad mouth, okay? A pretty big sized sad mouth. This is going to be the top of his head. Notice how lightly I'm going. And then we're going to make the curve that comes up and goes out for his ear line. It's almost the same height as the top of his head. Okay, so it doesn't have to be exact, but I'm going to do that on both sides, nice and light. Okay, so I just have this shape right here. We're not going to see all of his face because some of it from his chin is underneath his robe. So what we're going to do is pretend. So I'm going to make what looks like, for my older students, parentheses on both sides. Okay? Now I have this almost circular shape. He's pretty cheeky, so I want it to be a nice wide circle. Okay. Underneath here, this is where his chin would be buried inside his robe. So from this part here, I'm going to move up a little bit, I'm going to make a curve. I'm going to have that curve come to about the middle of his face. Then I'm going to curve that down. And over here, I'm going to come in, and then I just close it off. That's his collar, part of his collar. It doesn't have to be exact. This will be darker, so we don't confuse that with anything else. And then on this side, I'm going to come past his face a little bit. And then I'm going to come down again, going to come down again. From this curve, I'm going up, connecting that, coming in here, making a little line out, and then I close that off. It's another part of his collar. Might as well just finish off the collar with one line out. This one's going to come up and crash around. That's the collar. You don't have to worry about any of that now. We're going to go back in and finish up here. All right, we're going to this ear. Okay, I'm going to come from this part of his face and stick out a little bit. Come up, up and curve until I crash into the top of the ear. It's almost like an elephant ear the way it looks. Same thing on the other side. Come out from here, curve up and out. I go off the page, but I'm fine with that, boys and girls. You know me, you know I like it when artwork goes off the paper. I find it to make it a little more interesting. All right, let's finish off the ear. I'm going to bring this in, come down, and turn. Okay, come down and turn. And that's about it for there. Maybe 
catch the top of the head a little more. The other ear, I'm coming from the middle, going up and crashing. Put a little curve in here, and another little line right there. Face. This is going to be the part that you find the most challenging, but I want you to remember it's just lines and shapes. All right, we're going to come and kind of curve in a little bit right where this ear crashes into the face. I'm going to bring that up and make a sad mouth, which would be an eyebrow bone, our brow bone, his eyebrow bone. He doesn't have eyebrows, but that's what it's similar to for us. Underneath that, I'm going to make the top line for the top of his eye. It's almost exactly the same. He has big, sad, adorable little eyes. So we're going to make this come down pretty far with a smile mouth. Notice how lightly I'm doing it. I want it nice and light so I get it the way I want it. And once I have it where I like it, I can always darken it. Okay. Inside the eye, we're going to make a nice big circle that goes from the top to the bottom in both eyes. And then a smaller circle that will stay white for the light reflection. Okay, perfect. Good job. Now we're going to make two little parentheses, which will be his nose. Okay, notice it comes down almost in between the brow bones. If you'd like, you can give him just a little bit of a curve right here. Okay. I like to give two little lines up to show that his nose is not totally flat. Give him his, I call these thinking lines, up here. And he's going to get curves on the top of his head. Good. The mouth. He is neither smiling or, or frowning. It's kind of just a little bit of a straight line that comes across. I like to put a little bit of a curve up on the end. And then I give him his dimples for his cheekiness. Okay. We're getting there. Almost finished. We're not doing anything to the top lip. We're going to just make a line that goes like this to show the bottom lip. You can give him a little bit of a chin right here. And when you're coloring, you can fill in the cheekiness right here. Okay, that's about it for the face. We will be darkening the eyes right here. And later on, if you choose to add color, you can make them even darker. The jacket is just a line that comes down. From here, you're going to make another line. You can actually make it wavy, because remember, the jacket would not be straight. It's fabric. For the sleeves, come out the side. And then close it off with two lines. This would show the cuff of the sleeve. They show two fingers on the one I was looking at. So I'm gonna give him two fingers, one smaller in the front and the bigger one to the back. You can give him fingernails should you desire. Okay, and then there is a seam for where the jacket closes. And uh, for those of you who have done Levi's and cowboy boots with me, we are going to add some stitching. Now I said that about the Levi's and the cowboy boots because those kids already know that if something is sewn we see a thread that goes over and under and over and under so to show the stitching we just do some dashes. We're almost done boys and girls. Okay I do it on both sides of this seam down the middle where I suppose his robe would be closing and I do it on the edge of both sleeves. Okay, and then I go back and I'm checking things out here. I'm gonna go up to the top of his head and give it a little bit of a separation here. Not this one, I like this one the way it is. Okay, darken what I want to keep.
and then I can go in and erase any little lines I'm not interested in having. And boys and girls, I think I would say this is pretty much finished. All you have to do is darken your lines, go in and add color if you wish. If you don't want color, that's absolutely fine. I hope you had fun doing your Baby Yoda. And once again, may the fourth be with you. I miss you boys and girls. I hope to see you soon. If you did this and you want to outline it, color it, don't outline it, just send it to me. I would love to see anything you did. Bye boys and girls. Hope to see you soon.